right, here we are at Duck Mountain. Just got the trailer set up. Still got to set up the rest, the tables and that. We'll pull this picnic table up. Fire pit there. It's a big site, but I'm only using half of it. Got the bike. Gonna be doing some riding. One twenty nine of the Birch Campground. I stayed in two oh three, I stayed in twenty. Got some glowing fire stuff for later. Yeah, I'm gonna get the rest of the stuff set up here. Just a point here on what I do when I'm setting it up. I like to make it uh, a little nose high. Uh, reason number one is it keeps the water in the shower a little bit better. Just a little bit nose high, it doesn't have to be crazy. And uh, reason number two is so the air conditioner drains off the back. It's dripping from this corner, which is perfect. It's hitting my cord, but I could probably just move that. Right? It's not, uh, you know, going up by the front storage or over by my picnic table. All right, time to get this bike unloaded here. Gonna go for a ride, check out the park, maybe take a run into town here. Pretty excited. It's a beautiful day. So I got this little bag here. Riding permit from 
the last park I went to. Just gonna check the air pressure. I got them down real low because I was riding on dirt last time. This is gonna be mostly pavement, I think, probably the highway a little bit. So uh, we'll get these pumped up. I got a little hand pump here. Yeah, it's not even coming up. So we're gonna need a little bit more than that. So I'm at the edge of the park here, 19 kilometers to the town of Kamsak. Just gonna make a quick trip in the town on the DRZ here. Back from the ride here now. Got a couple things at the store. Got some apple juice. Gonna get my chair going and some tunes going. Post up outside here. All right. Oh, what up, Crow? Making some noise, are ya? Right on. It's hot dog roast time. Just got her on auto at the moment. A little sauce here for him. Everything else is ready to go at the table. Got the bright light on so I can see what's going on. It's convenient, but I don't leave it on. It's just, it's unnecessarily bright. Like it works super good when you want to see what you're doing, but shut her off after here. Like look at all these flies. I bet only half of them would be there if I didn't have this on. But I'm done with it now, so. Hopefully these guys fly away. All right, it's mystic fire time. Mystical fire. Toss one to three unopened packs into a fire. I'm just gonna go with two. That's what we got, might as well give her the old try. Now, let's see if I can get these right in the middle. Check it out, fridge magnet for the trailer. On this little store here. Treats and treasures, Madge Lake. Nice little store there, totem pole. Featured this in my other video of Duck Mountain. The store was closed at the time. It's nice to actually get in there and get something. There's the beach down there. Keep on riding, I suppose. All right, we got my magnets here from the gift shop. Nice little wood Canadian flag here.
Not bad. First one on the fridge. Kind of just drag them through the trees wherever. Perfect. I got my lantern for over here. That's all I need. So this one does not uh, lit up here. Let's just give her a twist. Ta-da. Any more not lit? I think it was just the one. So it's the last night here. As you can see, my fire is pretty small now. And uh, my campsite is virtually gone. I got it packed up already. I suppose the rain overnight. And uh, that's the last thing I want to deal with in the morning is packing away wet gear. Might even bring the slide in if it starts to rain while I'm still up or maybe before I go to bed, we'll see. But uh, I just want to make a note on this light here on the trailer. I said earlier that uh, like I don't normally use it because it's super bright. Like it's just blinding. Normally I would just... Uh, I got a lantern on a log back here. But I would have the lights in the trees. You know, something like that. But with the awning all the way in, it's just bright enough. You can see the line on the ground. Right, it's actually quite dim. It's from sitting over here by the fire. It's not overpowering. Yeah, get the, get the inside cleaned up and uh, finish the evening. Let's see how wet everything actually is. Yeah, everything is soaked. It's a good thing I... Uh, packed up everything last night when I was sitting around the fire. Got the slide in here. Brought her in last night. Everything's nice and dry. Just gotta clean up the inside. Make a coffee and I'll be out of here. Alright, so I'm on my way home here. And then uh, this light showed up and started flashing the tire light. So then I went over to the other screen here to have a look. And apparently on the truck, the back right tire is non-existent. So we're going to turn on the four ways here and go have a look. Doesn't look flat to me, but uh, let's have a look here. It's probably just the sensor. It's definitely not flat. I'm gonna chalk it up to a bad sensor. But uh, seeing how I'm out of the truck here, I might as well double check everything else. Cars whipping by on the highway. I'm just gonna put some tape over the light, I guess. back on the road here all right so I got my trailer thing beeping at me now showing a nose signal on the front right tire um 
let's hoping it's just another bad sensor and not a pop tire. Let's see if we can get two for two here. Turn the hazards on. It's fine. I've never had it just disconnect before for a no signal. But uh, it's good. Not sure what to make of it, to be honest. I'm going to just walk by the sensor with my little unit here and see if I can get it to reconnect. All right, so now I got two flashing both fronts and uh, I'm going to change the batteries when I get home because that's probably what it is.